Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Sherry Papini, the woman who faked her own kidnapping and torture, now pleading guilty in federal court. These are sketches from inside the courtroom in Sacramento. She took a plea deal to avoid facing trial for 35 felony counts. I wouldn't call this her doing the right thing. I'd call this her last ditch effort to do the best she can for herself. Nearly 2,000 Sutter Health nurses going on strike today for one day only. Nurses say Sutter is not being transparent about their PPE stockpile and contact tracing. Sutter says it staffed hospitals today with contracted replacement workers. Remember this dramatic scene at a Bay Area Home Depot? Prosecutors say a man will face arson in connection to the flames. His identity expected to be released tomorrow. Police in the Bay Area investigating a goat napping. A baby goat was stolen from a pack of 700 goats clearing weeds. The crime was even caught on surveillance video. The goat's owner says it needs its mother's milk. As time ticks on, the separation between the mom and the baby is larger and it's, you know, it's just, it's pathetic. In an effort to lower gas prices, the Biden administration is expected to lease 144,000 acres of federal lands for oil and gas drilling. It's at odds with the administration's efforts to reduce greenhouse gases, but they say they were forced to do this by a federal court order. A growing conflict in space. Tonight, the vice president, while in California, announced the U.S. ban on anti-satellite missile tests, which generate dangerous space debris. This debris presents a risk to the safety of our astronauts, our satellites, and our growing commercial presence. Verizon is raising its minimum wage for retail and customer service staff to $20 an hour. The increase applies to both new and current employees. The Boston Marathon returning in person today after a pandemic hiatus. Tens of thousands running, including a 20-year-old who lost his brother in the Boston Marathon bombing back in 2013. Also part of the Boston Marathon, wheelchair races. These racers moving as fast as 50 to 60 miles an hour. And an Easter tradition returned to the White House for the first time in two years. 30,000 children got to hunt for eggs, marking the largest White House event since the Bidens moved in. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.